In this tutorial, you will learn how to deploy an auto-scaling HPC cluster on Google Cloud Platform using Terraform Infrastructure as Code. To get started, go to console.cloud.google.com. Navigate to the Cloud Shell using the Cloud Shell button in the top right of the console. Next, clone the Fluid Slurm GCP Terraform repository from Fluid Numerics on GitHub. This repository contains infrastructure as code modules for the auto scaling HPC cluster, as well as examples to help you quickly get started. Navigate to the Fluid Slurm GCP Terraform directory and then into Examples, CentOS Cluster. Next, you will concretize a few variables to customize your deployment. Open fluid.auto.tfvars in a text editor. You can provide your cluster a name in the cluster name field. Set the primary project to your GCP project ID. Set the primary zone to the GCP zone you want to deploy your cluster's controller and login node. You can optionally set the controller disk size using the controller disk size GB variable. Next, configure your first compute partition. Here, we're just using one partition with five N1 standard eight instances, and we'll deploy it in the US West 1A zone. Next, define a list of system administrators and users using user or group email addresses. Admins will be given IAM roles that allow them to go root on the cluster. Users will have non-root SSH access to the cluster. Last, configure the Slurm accounts, giving each account a name, a list of users, and the partitions the users are allowed to submit jobs to. Keep in mind that all of these settings can be changed later in your cluster's lifespan. Save your changes to the file. To deploy your cluster, first run Terraform init and Terraform validate to verify that you have no syntax errors. Make a plan for your resources by running Terraform plan and use the out flag to save the plan to a file called tfplan. Create your resources with Terraform apply tfplan. This step will enable the necessary APIs, create IAM policies, and provision network and compute resources for your cluster. When the solution is ready, we can SSH into the cluster using OpenSSH from the Cloud Shell. First, create an SSH key using SSH keygen minus T RSA. Accept the default location and be sure to set a strong password to protect your private key. Next, you need to add the public SSH key to your OS login profile. Use the command gcloud compute os login ssh keys add and specify the path to your public RSA key in the key file parameter. Now you can log into the cluster's login node using the login node external IP address. Check to make sure that the home, apps, and Etsy munge directories are mounted from the controller using df-h. Check to make sure that your first compute partition is available by using sinfo. You can verify your account has been added by running sAccountManagerListUser. To test out your cluster, use the srun command to run a simple job step. Use the n1 flag to indicate you have one task to run. Use the account flag to specify your Slurm account. And use the partition flag to specify the partition to submit the job to. For this test, we'll simply print the host name, which will print the host name of the compute node the job runs on. When you submit the job, the compute node will be provisioned for you on Google Cloud Platform. This process can take one to two minutes. Once the node is up, it will respond immediately to future job requests. After a few minutes, the compute node will automatically spin down. When you are ready to tear down your cluster, log out of the cluster and back into your cloud shell. Run terraform destroy to delete all of the resources that were created.